Hey everyone, I'm gonna be installing Python onto my MacBook Pro right here, and this will be an easy step-by-step -step installation, so just follow along and stay till the end of the video because I'll talk about my Python tutorials and how it can help you out. All right, so let's get into this. So I have a little cheat sheet right here that I'm gonna follow. So the first thing you want to do is to install Xcode. And Xcode is necessary for um, Python to run, so let's go to the App Store. And uh, I've already installed Xcode, but you can go to the App Store and uh, type up Xcode here. So download that, and then you know just click on the installation file. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Terminal. You can click on the Spotlight tool right up here and search for Terminal. And then we need to install the command line tools from Xcode. So to do that, we have to type Xcode dash select space dash dash install. And so this is going to install the Xcode um, command line tools. If you don't want to install from terminal, you can also go to uh, Xcode itself, open up the app. And then just go to Preferences, General Panel, Downloads, Components tab, and then you'll see Install Command Line Tools. All right, uh, so I already have that installed. If you type it up into Terminal here, it'll uh, pop up instructions on how to install that. So I've already installed that. Let's exit here. All right, so now we're going to install Python. And there's two ways to install it. You can either go to python.org right here and then go to Downloads, Mac OS X. Uh, here, if I extend this window here and I go to Downloads, see it shows me the latest Python version for my Mac OS X. So right now it's Python 3.7.3, .3. or if I scroll down here, it also shows me Python 3.7.3. All right, so click on that, install it. That's one way, but the way I'm going to install this is through uh, using Homebrew. So Homebrew is a very popular uh, package manager and I like homebrew, so uh, what I have to do is go to brew.sh right here. So go to this website. And uh, I have to copy this command line down here. See that? I'm going to copy that, control C. And then I have to open up terminal again. So terminal. And I'm going to paste that command into here. So I haven't installed homebrew yet, so I'm going to do it right here. Install homebrew. And there we go, um, Homebrew is installed. Actually, it's going to ask me for my password right now to install uh, some of these other um, packages for Homebrew. So I'm going to enter in my password. When you enter in your password here, uh, it's not going to show you your password, but just know that it is typing it in for you. And then press return. And uh, it's asking that because it needs admin permission to install these packages into your system files. So I'm going to let that install. All right, so it finished right here. See that? And uh, I'll just clear this right here. Now I'm going to use Homebrew to install Python 3. So you'll see right here, if I do Python dash dash version, all Mac OS comes with Python installed. And the one I want to use right now is Python uh, 3. Uh, Python 2 is old, so I'm not going to use that anymore. So I want Python 3. So now I'm going to type a brew, and this is using homebrew. Brew install Python. And if I say brew install Python, it's going to look for the latest Python, which is Python 3. Or you can also say Python 3, you know. So I'll just do Python and let it install that. Okay, so Python is installed and it shows right here. Python has been installed as Python 3 right there. And if I want to see here, I'll clear this again and I'll put um, Python 3 dash dash version. And you see it installed Python 3.7.3 .3 for me. Uh, if I want to see my old Python and do Python dash dash version and that's Python 2 that's still there So it didn't overwrite this it left Python 2 and I also have Python 3 installed and I want to use Python 3 going forward So I also want to see if it installed pip um, 
and python 3 has pip 3 so let me do pip 3 dash dash version and there it is um pip 19.1.1 and that's for python 3.7 so anything that i'll be installing going forward i'll be using pip 3 to install if you already have homebrew installed uh, make sure you type up brew update because it will update your homebrew uh, app and then you can also do brew upgrade python 3 and that will upgrade your python 3 to the latest version or you just do brew upgrade and it'll look for uh, the packages that you have and it'll, it'll upgrade those it's always important to run brew update and then brew upgrade Okay, so now that I have Python 3 installed, I'm gonna install Visual Studio Code. There's a lot of other editors you can use, like PyCharm, that's pretty popular, um, Atom Editor, Sublime Text, but I like Visual Studio Code. So we can go here, Visual Studio Code. And right here, let's download for Mac, Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now that I have Visual Studio Code installed, let's uh, let's open it up. You can click up Finder and go to your Applications folder and go down to Visual Studio Code here and let's open it up. Now I'm gonna go to my Projects folder where I'm gonna be working on my projects from. And it's on my Desktop Projects. So now from my projects, I can start creating a um, you know, uh, Python files to start programming in. And you see right here, Python extension is recommended for this type. So I'm gonna install, because it knows I'm, uh, I'm working with Python here. So it's gonna install this extension for me. I'm also gonna install uh, linter right here. So that's what I like about Visual um, Studio Code that it suggests uh, these add-ons for you to make things better. Okay, now that I have all of that installed, uh, we can test this out by saying print. Hi. So what's also cool about Visual Studio Code is I can uh, run things from this terminal window right down here. So if I list it, there's the hello pi file. So now I can run this command down here and say python3 hello.py. And you see it output high. So Python 3 is working for me here. All right, so for most of you, you can stop here if you're only interested in installing Python, but I'm gonna continue and install a virtual environment for my projects. A uh, virtual environment is gonna keep my projects clean and contained with uh, only the packages that I'm gonna install going forward. And at any time I can delete my virtual environment and everything will be fine, I can start over. Okay, so to set up a virtual environment, I'm going to go back to my terminal. So let's go back to terminal. Alright, so let's list out where I'm at right now. And I want to go to my projects folder, which is on the desktop. So let's do CD desktop. See, and there's my projects folder. So let's CD into that. So um, here's my project with that Hello Pi that I just created, right? So now I'm going to set up my virtual environment. And what I'm gonna do is type Python 3 dash M V E N V Python E N V. So Python E N V or underscore E N V, that's the name of the folder of the virtual environment that it's going to create within my projects folder here. So let's run that. So see if I list that, we see right here Python E N V. So that's the virtual environment folder. And now I need to activate that. All right, so let's clear this. And to activate, I need to type source Python env, that's the name of the environment folder, slash bin, slash activate. Just run that. And so now you see that it's activated because you see how it's in parentheses here? That environment is activated. See, every time I, I type um, list or something, I'm inside the virtual environment here. Um, to deactivate, you just gotta type deactivate. See, now there's no parentheses anymore. I'm outside of it. See, the, uh, the virtual environment isn't running anymore. 
Okay, so if you want to delete the virtual environment, you have to type rm-rf and then the name of that folder, the environment folder. So the name of mine is python underscore env. If I run this, it'll delete the virtual environment. But I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to um, activate it again. So I got it activated. I'm inside. And with the virtual environment activated, now I can install any packages that I want. So let's say I want to install Django, right? I'll, I'll type pip3 install Django. And when I run this, it's only going to install this Django package in my virtual environment folder. All right, so it's installed. So here, if I type pip3 list, you'll see that I have Django installed in here. And this is only in my virtual environment because if I deactivate this virtual environment here, deactivate. Now if I do pip3 list, see Django isn't in here anymore. It's only within the virtual environment that I'm running. So why is this good? Um, if I screw up on anything, I can just delete the virtual environment um, and I can start over. Uh, it's not gonna, going to mess with any other projects that I can create another virtual environment with another Django version and I can run that and it won't conflict. Uh, you know, it won't mess up anything. And if I do mess up on something, I just delete the virtual environment. Everything is clean. I can start another one. So that's what's cool with virtual environments. So here's the thing. Every time I start up my computer and I want to work on my projects, I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. And uh, I'm going to go to my projects here. And I have to activate that virtual environment uh, to start running it. So what's cool with Visual Studio Code here, I have Terminal down here. And I can run, I'm within my projects folder here. Here are my files and here's my virtual environment file, Python environment. So I have to start up the virtual environment. So I have to say source Python environment slash bin slash activate. And now you see it's activated because it has the parentheses right here. Now that this environment is activated, uh, the thing that you want to do is that uh, don't create any of your project files inside this environment folder, this python underscore env uh, folder. Because this folder right here is a throwaway folder. If I want to delete the virtual environment, I delete this folder. And all of my files are outside of it. And you don't want to delete your project files. So create all of your project files outside. And for my case, I have it inside my projects folder here. So everything is on the outside and uh, just leave this envir virtual environment folder alone. All right, so if you guys are new to this channel, just know that I just started out. Uh, I'm trying to teach myself Python on my own. And if you wanna follow along, uh, we can learn together. Uh, I might make mistakes here and there. And so just leave comments down below, like this video, and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach my 1,000 subscriber goal. All right, so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Kodakai out.